Hello, my name is Laura Robert. Today we shall be looking at the topic Nutrient Circle in Nature. Objectives of Lesson By the end of the lesson, students should be able to 1. Define Nutrient Circle 2. List examples of inorganic nutrients and types of nutrient circle 3. Mention the processes involved in each circle and define them and 4. Draw annotated diagrams of the various nutrient circle. Nutrient circle is the continuous circulation of nutrients in the ecosystem. It involves the removal of nutrients from the environment, which are used up, and their replacement back into the environment. The nutrients are inorganic and include water, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, and nitrogen. Inorganic nutrients are necessary for maintenance of life and are recycled by physical, chemical and biological processes. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the following nutrient circles. Water circle, carbon circle, oxygen circle and nitrogen circle. Carbon circle. Processes involved in carbon circle include A. Photosynthesis. Here, plants remove carbon in form of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and use it to make their food. B. Respiration. When animals breathe out, they release and add carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. C. Decomposition, also known as decaying. During this action, carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. D. Leaching. Soil loses carbon by leaching, but they can be moved into water bodies where animals use them to form carbonate to make their shells. E. Volcanic eruption. When volcanoes erupt, they, re they release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. F. Combustion, also known as burning. When wood, coal, natural gas, and petroleum products burn, Carbon dioxide is added into the atmosphere. Importance of carbon Carbon is very important in our environment. 1. It is used by plants for photosynthesis. 2. It serves as a component of organic nutrients. 3. It is used in building carcerous substances like shell in organisms like snails. This is an image showing carbon circle. Now don't forget, photosynthesis is a process that removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, while respiration in both plants and animals add carbon dioxide into the atmosphere or carbon into the atmosphere. Volcano eruption add carbon into the atmosphere, so also burning and emission of gases or burnt fuel also release carbon into the atmosphere. Water circle. Processes involved in water circle include A. Transpiration. In this process, plants lose and add water into the atmosphere in form of water vapor. B. Photosynthesis. Here, plants remove water from the environment, to be specific, the soil, and use it to manufacture their food. C. Respiration. When animals breathe out, they release and add water in form of water vapor into the environment. D. Evaporation. When animals sweat or urinate into the environment, the water gets evaporated into the atmosphere. Also, water from oceans, lakes, rivers evaporates as well, adding water to the environment. E. Decomposition. This is the process by which dead plants or animals decay. During this action, water is also released into the soil. F. Precipitation. Evaporated water that gathered in the cloud comes down as rainfall by condensation when saturated to add water into the environment. And G. Infiltration and percolation. Water from rainfall infiltrates into the ground to form underground water that can be used by plants. Importance of water. Water is very important in our environment. It is used by plants for photosynthesis. 
It is used to regulate body temperature. Water is a component of blood. Water aids digestion. And the last point here, materials are transported by water in plants. You can see the image of water circle. It shows the process of evaporation. It shows the process of precipitation. That means rainfall. And also shows some other processes that involve the movement of water from the atmosphere into the environment and the removal of the water from the soil back into the atmosphere. Oxygen circle. Processes involved in oxygen circle include A. Photosynthesis. Here, plants release an out oxygen into the atmosphere as they are waste during photosynthesis. B. Respiration. When animals breathe, they breathe in oxygen, thus removing oxygen from the environment to be specific the atmosphere. C. Decomposition. During this action, Oxygen is removed by decomposers such as fungi and bacteria since they themselves need the oxygen. D. Combustion. Don't forget it's also known as burning. When wool, coal, and natural gas and petroleum products burn, oxygen is also removed from the atmosphere. Importance of oxygen. It is used by plants and animals for respiration. It helps to purify the atmosphere and it also ensures continuity of life. This is an image showing the oxygen circle. Now, oxygen is added into the atmosphere by the process photosynthesis in plant, and it is removed from the atmosphere by the process respiration. Nitrogen circle. Nitrogen occurs in the environment, that is the soil, as nitrate. Nitrogen fixation is the addition of nitrogen to the soil by certain organisms. This process involves the following. 1. Lightning and thunderstorm. 2. Symbiotic nitrogen fixation. 3. Non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation. 4. Ammonification and nitrification. Now, the only process by which nitrogen is removed from the environment and added into the atmosphere is by 5. Denitrification. Now let's look at these processes one after the other. Lightning and thunderstorm. During lightning and thunderstorm, nitrogen reacts with oxygen in a series of reactions to form nitrogen 4 oxide. Now when it rains, water mixes with the nitrogen 4 oxide to form nitrous and nitric acids, which end up as nitrate in the soil. This is a form of electrical discharge process. Symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Here, certain bacteria like Rhizobium leguminosorium that lives in the mutua, in a mutual association in the root nodes of legumes can fix atmospheric nitrogen directly into the plants. Non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Bacteria like Clostridium and azotobata that live in the soil can also fix atmospheric nitrogen directly into the plant. Ammonification and nitrification. During putrefaction, which is also known as decay or decomposition of dead plants and animals, nitrogen from their body and their waste is converted to ammonium compound. That process is called ammonification. Certain bacteria like nitrobacter can convert the ammonium compound to nitrite and another called nitrosomena can convert the nitrite to nitrate in a process called nitrification. And the last one, denitrification. This is the process by which the nitrogen from the soil is removed and returned back into the atmosphere by the help of denitrifying bacteria. Now let's study the image showing the nitrogen circle. Here we have the nitrogen fixing bacteria in root nodes of legume. They can fix nitrogen into plants directly. We can also see ammonium compound. We can see nitrification process. We can also see denitrifying bacteria removing nitrogen from the soil directly into the atmosphere. Lightning is also another process that can what add nitrogen 
into the soil. Take your time and study this image. Yeah, here is our student activity. All you need to do is take your time and solve them. Answer the question just to know how far you've been able to assimilate to the topic. All right, this is the answer to the question set in our student activity. Okay, it is time for you to mark yourself now. Let's check. I hope you have 100%. All right. Thank you. At this moment, I want to say you have done a great job joining me in this class. I'm very, very happy to have you. Thanks for learning.